I read the clap last time, so. <laughs> hey, there you go. No interest today, Jordan? No, not really. <laughs> not feeling it? I might have to get up and go throw up. I'm... I didn't think I was going to come over here and have to deal with Andy Dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, Listen. he's... He had the same amount of shots as last week beforehand because we're recording out last. And part three. Um, yeah, we did part three, and he is very drunk today. Hold on, I'm playing with my cord on my microphone arm. I don't understand right. how he's really drunk so today. So, what are we talking week. about today? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Where's my phone? <laughs> I have some notes. Oh, he has notes this that time. We can talk about. Okay, okay. Um, what do you got going on this week? Where am I? Hold on, it's loading, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, I we can talk about how YouTube was weird the other day. Oh, are you talking? Are you day. talking about how it uploaded the most recent episode yeah. of the podcast? Yeah, so I uploaded the episode like an mm-hmm. hour and ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Great episode. Everybody should go watch it. YouTube.com. It, it was a good episode. Um, slash whatever the fuck. I don't actually know what our channel's called. <laughs> was that the um? The the B cat or whatever. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 See that? See that. Yeah. The B cat. It's a good song. <laughs> it's um, a good song. <laughs> so I went to check the analytics the other day. It was 17 minutes long instead of an hour and 10. And I went, that's not even remotely right. 17 minutes long. Yeah. Turns out YouTube, for some reason, like split it into a different video the first, t- like, yeah. You can't go over a certain amount of time on YouTube. Yeah, that, how, how that you time that? is 24 hours. Yeah. It they didn't cha- used to be. Yeah, I was about to say, back in like 20, 2009, you couldn't have more than 10 minutes right. per episode, and now they completely got rid of that. Oh, okay. Um, it used to be unlimited, but yeah. No, it didn't. It did. No, because I was used it? to make little YouTube videos. They said nothing over 10 minutes. Yeah, but it's after like that, it turned to unlimited, and then they cut it down to 24 hours. Oh. It was unlimited for a time. Interesting. Um, Just live stream it. <laughs> so I would love to. So I was confused, and I very quickly fixed it. But no, it was. I, I have no idea what was going on. That was weird. I agree. So I thought when you uploaded that, you only uploaded the unboxing, and I was like, okay, that's all that he wanted. He didn't want all the sea bad stuff. Nope. And uh, so then I rewatched it when you uploaded the whole entire thing. Yeah. Yeah, is that who I that was one, one of the view was the one view? Is there still only one view on that video? Yeah, it's is probably that more than that. Jordan, you're gonna have to do some heavy lifting on this one because I am gone. <laughs> well, I just saw something on on Reddit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do a Reddit scan. Have you figured out how Reddit yeah. works yet? No. no. <laughs> uh, I just swipe and stuff pops up. There were six videos. You're good. My other one was uh, Common Ground Fair. We can talk about that. That was a good fair. It was, was pretty fun. Yeah. I had a good time. Good. Jordan, I know you had a good time. I had a great time. I watched a horse walk in a circle. Yeah, it was And good. then I went. I left. Yeah, that's about it. There's a, I, I think the Common Ground Fair, I feel like it used to last an entire week. Did, Did it? Maybe. Because I don't think so. The weekend was so crowded that I don't remember it ever being that crowded. I think crowded. it's because COVID shut it down for two years. Yeah, as far as I heard on the news, they had a record amount of people yeah, this year. Yeah, for sure. Com- it was and then the last record, the last time there was that many people was like 2015, from what I like heard in a news article. Right. I don't think I went that year. But I don't remember ever not being able to like buy food. Yeah. Like, I don't remember uh, where the line was. single line, line yeah. was like The lines so were going long. to another line. You could yeah. not get yeah. any food. This woman once it was like, one, uh, 1 p.m. Yeah, this woman was like, oh, uh, I don't even know which lines go into what. Yeah, exactly. The entrance was just a line. Just crazy. Yeah. I got very lucky. I think we all got lucky, except for you, because you showed up later. Um, we showed up which really was early. The plan. Yeah, it was the plan that you showed up later. Right. But it would be very much like you to not tell me what, what? you were doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck, is, fuck you. you know. yeah. <laughs> fuck you. We're well, gonna okay. settle some bees right now. The, we're, the, we're the original, the original, the original situation is that James and I would drive separately, 
Um, and then that, that morning, was the second situation. The original situation, the original situation that we, we were going to drive together. And then I had dinner plans. So I was like, we have to drive separately. And then the morning happened and he's like, no, we'll just drive together. It'll be fine. Cause we we're going to get there at like 10 30. I was like, I don't want to stay past like two. Oh, you said three. It originally was, it three. was three. And then I, and then I and changed then I my plans to to earlier. Like so it's her fault. Yeah. It is not directed at me. Right here, right here. It's not, I don't care about what happened so much as you didn't call me to tell me what was happening well, so that I could listen, adjust my, my yeah, plans cause, for listen, my I don't, day. Because I don't have his and number. And you do that quite so. often. Listen, at about one o'clock, we were pretty confident you just weren't going to show up. <laughs> Why? Because But he it, was there for half happened. an hour by then. Yeah. Yeah. Which was, which it's we happened didn't before. Know. You've also invited me uh, some years ago to uh, go somewhere to like go to the coast and then you 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 left me and you didn't, <gasps> yeah, I did and you didn't yeah you did, do, I did that. do that and you didn't call oh, or anything wow. so i wasted my whole day waiting this, for this you friendship to tell me what wait, wait, this friendship sounds really toxic do you want to um mm-hmm. do you want to come up with your excuse james let's go i would like to defend myself okay defend a bit. yourself come yeah on. you can't though one <laughs> he can't i accept the responsibility for this okay i was in the wrong okay yeah, yeah jordan i sure. apologize Two, I knew his schedule, so I knew that he could not do what we were doing. They left okay. early in the morning. Okay. And I worked nights. Okay. But we were gone overnight. Yeah. So I knew that you you wouldn't so want So you couldn't be there the whole entire time. Why yeah. would you drive like two and a half hours to spend like an hour there and then drive back? It didn't make sense. No, I would have gone there and spent the whole day and then just drove home at night. No. Yeah, that's it, what I would have done. It wouldn't have happened. Um, it would have, because I literally spent the entire day waiting for you to tell me what we were doing. Third of all, I had a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Fourth of all, I watched the first Superman movie. Yeah, well, I would have been gone for that. And it was pretty good. You were, like, up by the coast walking around. Yep. Yeah, I like water. <laughs> yeah, I like the coast. I do like, I do like the coast. I the do coast like is moisture. very nice. <laughs> like moisture. I think we spent more time walking around Walmart looking for something than really. We actually did walking around the ocean. Well, that's the thing. You just don't go into Walmart. <clears throat> yeah, I you're mean, not gonna find what you want. I <laughs> never. Didn't. I mean, I did, but it was ludicrously expensive. Uh, I was trying to get a USB C to HDMI port. I was thinking like the people. Oh, okay. To, okay. Because I was trying to watch movies on my phone on the TV. <clears throat> yeah. But. The only thing there was like eighty five dollars, and I was like, "Why would I want this?" Yeah, that's true. So, so a little update from someone named Cal? Question mark. Yeah. This is just the first thing that popped up on Reddit, uh-huh. sure. which I'm new to. Here we go. Yes. Going to sit next to the richest looking middle aged man on my flight and <laughs> scroll through my nudes for three hours straight. Hehe. <laughs> Scroll, th- scroll through can you scroll the guy. Can you scroll through the their news um, for three hours. I don't hours. know if I can. I think it was something somebody grabbed from something else. Yeah. So, um, so that, so wait, 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 wait. That, that's really interesting. Scroll yes, through their their dudes, like their own. They took nudes and they no, have a and, whole entire folder, and that lasted for three hours. Yes. I have like five nudes on my phone. I have none. <laughs> like, um, like, I probably so. have a couple, not of me, but of just like. Random people, catfishers. Ra- random people yeah. who get oh catfishers because they ran random and they people. send him pictures. I remember, yeah, the, yeah he does get. Yeah. So do you save those? Sometimes the Did woman was them? like changing races too. I remember. Yeah. I remember that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just seen straight up vagina. Yeah, it's weird. Women don't yeah, so send she me has... pictures of their vagina. What the mm-hmm. fuck? You I mean, gotta, she could be going I through can't send these people through scrolling through like um like uh, like people who send them them shit no they're hurt. i think it's she yeah. says through my nudes for three hours straight entice so entice the middle-aged rich man well obviously well and I'm then explaining to ashley who's drunk I i'm think, not drunk no, I think, <laughs> yes you are i think she <laughs> understands drunk. it but the main, i don't think she does the main thing that was odd about this is it that was the it's three hours. the three hours yeah it was the, it was like the three which means hours. she must have like at least like five Playboys. Yeah, like how like many yeah, pictures on you're going to? Or I guess they don't is... do nudes on Playboy anymore. I don't think so. No, they're not no. nude. Do I they even make so. Playboy? Magazine? Yes, but they're not nude. I don't think. No, because yeah. uh, it was a big deal. Not that I subscribed to Playboy magazine. Did you? Do you? You wanted vintage ones. I thought about it, but 
It was too the vintage ones are really cool. I just yeah. thought it would be funny to have Sticky. like people come over <laughs> and just have a, like a <laughs> random play. Some of the pages don't come. Some of the pages. Right, we were talking about apart. that. Like, if you just walk into someone's apartment and then on their coffee table where they have the magazines, like little, little, like neatly sprawled out. Yeah, just Playboys. Just like porno <laughs> jugs. You um, know, jugs. <laughs> Specifically for the boob man How or woman. Time has passed. Twelve uh, minutes. Not a whole lot. Twelve minutes and two seconds. Twelve minutes and three seconds. Uh, it feels like not <laughs> any, and then all of it. That was a uh, okay. That was the only weird well, thing I saw on the. Well, let's the, do it uh, on the Reddit. Hold on. Um, we okay. I want to talk about something. Okay, let, let me, I'll give you the floor. What do you want to talk about? I'm about to fall asleep, and I also had to pee again. Okay. No, okay. He's again very drunk. Go very on. drunk. Um, so our last episode three we just recorded, it went very well. Um, no, it did not. He's drunk. It will be out. Episode one will be out when this podcast comes out. The mm-hmm. day of, mm-hmm. uh, I think at noon. Okay. Eastern Standard Time. So go check that out. Um, I think that we're gonna record. And I talked to you about this. We're gonna record <laughs> a video every Friday. Yes. I don't think I'm going to release it on Mondays because I want to spread them out. Mm-hmm. Mondays just because Halloween's on a Monday, so I like, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I think we're just going to record a video, a gameplay video yeah, every Friday before the podcast. Will Jordan be in any of them? I don't know. Depends on what the schedule. No, like we're going to do gameplay. Episode, yeah, we're going to no. play video games before the podcast. Okay. So we're going to record for like an hour and then we're going to do the podcast, which is why we're drunk. <laughs> Yeah. And I have to pee. So if you guys could vamp while I'm done. I'm going to keep my headphones yeah. on so I can hear what you're okay. saying about me. I'm going to... I'm trying to find a- something. Again, uh, the Reddit segments are do very well on the podcast. So I have an Am I the Asshole. Okay. Okay. So am I the asshole for not wanting to pay for my wife's spending money? Um, no. <laughs> All right. So that's our that's our main thing is like, No. Oh well, I don't know. <laughs> so, so like this is your knee-jerk reaction. So let's actually discuss what the post is. All right. Before the birth of our daughter, my wife and I both worked full time in a low middle earning job, with my wife's earning being a little bit more than mine, but not by much. My wife returned to work out of necessity when our daughter was three months old. Her mental health became pretty bad and she has a minor disability that makes work life a little hard and she found it a little bit worse after having our daughter. But we had to do what we had to do. Makes sense. Sometimes you have to work in order to like to take care of your child. That's true. My wife's nan who sort of raised her and was her only family passed away sadly when our daughter was six months old. Well, it's sad. My wife inherited everything she owned. It was a big inheritance not enough for both of us to immediately retire but it was a lot enough for us to buy a decent house outright a new car each and to put away some for a comfortable retirement shortly after her nan died my wife stopped working and became a stay-at-home mom if the inheritance was big i mean that seems kind of reasonable uh Partly due to grief and struggles at her job, and a bit because she would have always preferred to be a stay-at-home mom with her daughter. Thing is, though, I'd rather not work and be a stay-at-home dad, too. Oh, okay. (laughs) But I've been sucking it up because we all need income to get by. My wife spoke with me recently about how to budget so we can live off of just my income. She's been dipping into savings to pull her weight, but that's all been tied up in investments now. I said, if I'm the one who has to work, and I'd rather not, again, he has to reiterate that, I do not think I should have to spend my money funding her hobbies and spending money. If she chooses to not work, then she can buy clothes at a charity shop instead of new and get a friend to cut her hair for free, etc. Or she can get a job working a night shift or start an online business or something to fund her spending money. I don't see why I should have to pay for stuff like her sewing materials and her gym membership since I don't benefit from them and they're not my responsibility. I don't like how he's sounding. (laughs) I'm happy to pay for stuff for our daughter seeing as she's my responsibility. So I don't think I'm being unreasonable here. I work 36 hours a week 
not even 40 what um a bit. <laughs> wow i work 36 hours a week and i already pay for the bills and food she said it's not fair if i get to enjoy my gym membership and hobbies like video games but the difference is i'm paying with them with my money my wife says her inheritance was worth more than if she spent her whole life working and without it both of us would be working anyway and have higher expenses from paying a mortgage and car loans should I, so i should count that as her contribution and share my money with her am i the asshole here's what i'm gonna say i heard i'm back by the way <laughs> um you got a house bro mm-hmm. and a new car like yeah yeah. Why is he not I'm... working forty hours a week full time? <laughs> also, how old is it? How old is he? Uh, did they is specify age? the age? Um, I don't think. I feel that like you I would have said be... they did not specify their age. I don't think that you should be frivolous mm-hmm. with your money. Like I don't think you should be going to Disney World every other month. But sewing, like that's not a huge expense. Yeah, like it can be. You can get into thousands of dollars in like machines so so it, 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 it's it, so it sounds like so since he worded it like the inheritance was enough that we that you could buy a house outright in two cars yes. it sounds like she literally bought the whole entire oh, house like, like she owns no, that stuff like no mortgage like they bought right. a house outright they bought a car they bought two cars outright and they have enough for a comfortable retirement so she ba- basically took care of them and then being a stay-at-home mom is a whole job in and of itself yeah we're assuming like multi-million dollar set uh yeah not settlement yeah. what am i thinking like of inheritance, inheritance. Um, like could have been a settlement like yeah. a, like a million like a million dollars or something like that because we don't know where where they live they might right. live in like indiana where you can buy apparently a really nice a, house uh, for seventy thousand dollars for, for forty thousand dollars <laughs> yeah like fucking bullshit so let's go yeah i know right <laughs> it's ridiculous so like you get paid two dollars an hour but so when you hear like, "Am I the asshole for not wanting to pay for my wife spending money?" We re- immediately you'd go like, oh, "No, whatever." Course. But now that I understand the story, because I did not read the story beforehand, are you the asshole for not wanting to? Probably not. But also, she. But she like you got bought a your house, house bro. Like, she bought your house in a car. Yeah. Like, and she takes care of your child. And yeah, full like, time. Fucking! It's not like she's going out doing cocaine every night. Like she wants to she do some <laughs> sewing. He didn't say she, she wants wasn't. to do sewing and go to the gym. Yeah, like, like, come on, dude. Like, also, I get no benefit of this. You can probably get a smoking hot wife because she's going to the gym all the time. She can fucking buff. She can get buff. Yeah, she can sew your clothes. She can get you new clothes yeah. by making them. Like she's saving money by repurposing clothes. Why doesn't she? What happened to all her money? They just said they can retire together. Why didn't she start? Not enough the- to retire, but enough to have but have a comfortable retirement when they retire. Uh, the, I think the but issue. But they can't retire because they're not working. Well, one of them is. Yeah, so like he's not even working a full time job. Well, Thirty six can be full time. That's technically yeah. yeah. He's just not taking that lunch the break. Did issue- they just say they they weren't being paid much in the beginning? They were they were low middle income, and now they're not. And now she got a really large inheritance, so that's the thing. And I I think there's some resentment there. Because she got the really large inheritance to pay the house and cars, and he ca- and he said twice that he wanted to be a stay at home dad, and she chose to be a stay at home mom, and he would have not wanted to work. I mean, who does? I mean, I agree. Yeah, but then like, does he think being a stay at home dad means you're playing video games all yeah, day long? Um, like, uh... may- maybe. I have a friend who is a stay at home dad, and he told me like it's a very stressful job like you do not like we all go to work and work is stressful and we hate it and then we go home and we get to like (laughs) jordan actually does like one of us loves our job job. um i like it it's okay (laughs) it's okay sometimes um but like you go to work and if it's a really stressful day and you and you really don't like what's going on like the end of eight to ten hours depending on how long you work you're done and you get to go home not when you're a stay-at-home parent yep your whole 24 hours is working that's your yeah. whole entire life. You do not have a break. And then it's this whole entire resentment thing that I see a lot with like if one's a stay at home parent and the other one works full time because the stay at home parent doesn't have a break and the person who works full time wants to go home and they want a break 
but the stay-at-home parent has been technically working for like eight or nine hours and then they want to break and it's this it's whole entire it's, it's sort of thing. like no matter what somebody's working 24 7 yes. basically yes um because you can't come home you don't want to come home from a nine hour day at work and be like well now i gotta take care of the kid yeah or i gotta do all these dishes and it's like the person who's been doing that all day doesn't want to well you can keep just keep doing it you give know? the child night quill yeah, just <laughs> pop them some Robitussin. ambient. Robitussin, yeah. <laughs> half an ambient. It's not going to do anything to them, is it? <laughs> but it it's yeah. the kid? Yeah, it's half it's an ambient. Have, no. Half the an other ambient. half for yourself. They have children's equal for a reason. Do they really? They do have children's equal. Of course, equal. it tastes like sugar. Does it actually? Oh, you had to drink it? Do they're not going to swallow so. a pill. No, yeah, they're not going to swallow a pill. It's like a, a dog. You got to like they, they clamp its mouth shut. <laughs> I don't remember that. Throat. Shut its nose. Isn't that if you would get CPS called on you, I guess? If you Probably. Your <laughs> swallow the pill. You just clamp its mouth. I was always terrified at nighttime. I yeah. probably could have yeah. used that. Yeah. I was very afraid of the dark. I think when we were younger, like children's equal did not exist. Oh, probably yeah. not. Well, yeah, it's equal didn't even exist. Because no. Desert, it? Yeah, it was NyQuil. NyQuil. Dude. They had probably something. <sighs> NyQuil's expensive as shit. Is it? NyQuil is it's expensive. Like it's like $15 for a bottle. I was going to say 15 oh. to $18. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but you're not drinking it all the time. But well, that's like if five you're really doses. Sick, yeah. <laughs> that's like five doses of NyQuil for like $15. I mean, I don't We've know. You've seen the thing where it's like the woman, the cooking show, and the woman's like a shot of vodka, and she just, just pours the bottle in for like it. 10 seconds. It's like that, but NyQuil for me. Yeah, you should get um, Robitussin. Robitussin. Ooh, Stronger. Robitussin, yeah. Oh, yeah. I just want to go straight to meth. Oh, I thought you said bad, and I was like, it'll do that. <laughs> and then I realized you said meth. Yeah. That'll make you not sleep. <laughs> yeah. Can people on meth get the common cold? <laughs> Maybe. I don't, think, I don't think know. Get a lot. I don't know if they would notice if they were even oh, sick. Oh, absolutely, they would not notice. <laughs> But whether or not they can contract it is a different thing. Sort of like, have you ever drank while you had a cold? No. Yes. If you get it's drunk when you had a cold, experience. it doesn't, it like gets rid of your, uh, you it don't does. notice it. You don't notice your cold. Yeah. That's very true. And then, uh, yeah. I'm trying to. I'm Comes back the next morning, <laughs> but yeah. I mean, not if you keep drinking. No, I mean, well, no. If you, uh, if you archer it. I don't know how you could. Possibly Bloody Mary's dog. I think that after a certain amount of time, like unless you want to wake yourself up earlier mm -hmm. and then have a swig and then go back to bed and then wake up again. Um uh Yeah. What's it called? What is it, Andy? I'm gonna think of it. Hold on. Andy Dick. <laughs> I was trying to find an Andy Dick soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't do it. Nothing popped up. What am I thinking of? Andy Dick. Yeah. That's what I'm Dick? thinking. The the bag with the needle. Uh, the bag. What? The bag what? with the needle. The bag. The bag with the needle. With the needle. The IV. IV. Just oh. getting the IV. Okay. Don't do it with uh, beer though, because of the carbonation. Oh, like a, like in Sunny. But yeah, you gotta use wine. <laughs> I should watch that episode again. It's why is there episode. no? Why is there no Andy Dick? Soundboard. I don't know. I was listening to. Um, Oops, I <laughs> Do you remember the, uh, I guess it just says that every time. <laughs> the Dale Gribble soundboard we download, or the King of the Hill down, uh, oh, soundboard. Yeah. Get your daily dose of tar. Um, I was listening to a podcast. Uh, it's called Fly on the Wall. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Dana Carvey and David Spade. Yeah. Um, and the most recent episode they released was uh, they interviewed. What's his name? You're pointing at me for. What's his name? They interviewed. It's so vague. Lauren Michaels. Yes, it's very vague. I don't even. I... He's the producer of Saturday Night Live. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to go like, I can't think of who that is. It's a fucking great episode. Everybody should go listen to it. Yeah. It is like Lauren Michaels is so interesting. Listening to him talk to two of the funniest people on the planet. Like how he, when uh, Dana Carvey auditioned, and like how Lauren Michael Jordan's just fucking around over there. I can't find what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna put my phone down. Okay. Um, it's it's really good. Like that podcast in general is really good, but 
Like when they interview Conan O'Brien, that's really cool. When they interview uh, Mike Myers, that's really cool. Mike Myers, the serial killer? No, that's Michael Myers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Michael I mean, Myers. they might both be serial killers, but one of them is more funny. <laughs> if we can get a morph from that song into the Austin Powers theme song. Ooh. Mike Myers. You know. Groovy, baby. And he's stabbing people. So, you know, I was listening to a couple of podcasts ago, and I said, like, I think three Are podcast episodes ago. No, no, no. Three podcast episodes ago, I was like, hey, I'm going to say this story next time. And I never said the story. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. It doesn't. <laughs> I was like, ooh. What story? I was re listening to it again. Are you going to say the story now? Yeah, I can say the story now if you want me to. Okay. I want to hear it the is. story now. My, okay. Story. My husband, who's 33 years old, told me, 28 year old female, that he's in love with my sister, oh, who's yeah. 32. Oh, did we, we and did I'm, this one. And I'm pregnant and I don't know what, why it's happening. No, to we me. did do this. I, yeah, did did. Not, I did not actually say the story. Oh. I just said the we title. Just, <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> we just passed We just it. immediately were like, no. We yeah. were just like, yeah, okay. We just like, leave his ass. Leave his ass. I mean, I think that's the ultimately the probably the best answer. <laughs> Whatever really, the situation is, it really just leave. Just leave. That's our so answer for how, all the fuck the relationship out. how does this work if? But so, you're married and, and she's pregnant. It doesn't right. No, no. I mean, if he has a baby with his wife's sister, what does that make <laughs> them? Um. <laughs> what? Sister-in-law, sister in life. Sister in law, sister in law. Um, the daughters would be sisters. sisters. And oh, okay, okay. One so, of so the if you're, moms you're trying to figure out if he has so if you're a saying kid like if you're saying the yes. kid, yeah, okay. if she had a kid with each, what would the kids be? They would be half Best sisters. Friends. Half sisters, but their but their sisters, sisters are also mom like, is her aunt. Right? Aunt and grandma at the same time. Aunt and grandma. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's no, wrong. No, that's wrong. Maybe it's aunts. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. fucked up. All right. I mean, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So the story is, my sister and I had a shitty life growing up with a <laughs> passive mother and an abusive stepfather. My sister was my protector yep. and my role model since no one since no one of the adults were. She tried to shift my stepdad's abuse onto her when he got drunk so he wouldn't hurt me. Oh, that's very nice of her. When she left for college, she let me stay in her bed while she slept on the floor in her student room. The days I managed um, to run away from home. I don't know why I'm laughing. That's not funny. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> don't funny at laugh, all. Jordan. I'm just staring I'm at just, James. I'm just staring at Jordan. You're right. When I turned I 16, she let me move in with her permanently. We never saw our parents again. My husband is very similar to my sister. I just, I just they're staring at each other. I look at, at I look at James and I'm like, God damn it. Okay, they're both very calm and kind. Both very intelligent. They have the same sense of humor, love the same music, books, movies, and games. It's a little, it's like a weird perverted thing that I found the male version of my sister to fall in love with. Just a little bit. Um, they get along very well, and it was so important to me because they're my only family. We got married a year ago after six years together, and I'm 27 weeks pregnant now with our first baby. My sister met her boyfriend, 30-year-old male, um, a year ago. He got along very well with me and my husband, although I always felt that my husband never really liked the guy. When I asked him once why he didn't like him, he got flustered and told me that he didn't know it was noticeable and apologized. He told Time me out. he didn't think he was good for her. Time out. Yeah. I haven't been paying attention for the last 45 seconds. Okay, well, I have. What's going on? <laughs> he... We jumped from, okay. like, so the sisters third, to two guys. The, so, so, the, so the quick thing is that she married the... The original poster basically married the male version of her sister. Mm -hmm. And okay. then her sister got a boyfriend a year ago, and her... And the original poster's husband does Doesn't not like, like the boyfriend him because okay. she, he likes the sister. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Forget it. Okay. So the so, boyfriend likes the original poster, and the husband of the original poster doesn't like the boyfriend because he likes the original poster. He likes the original poster's sister. <laughs> what? Okay. All right. Shut up. All right. James, no, you're too drunk to understand. Okay. No, I can do this. <laughs> okay. So my sister's boyfriend proposed to her last night. We were just having pizzas and they were having beers in my sister's balcony and the boyfriend just suddenly went down on one knee and took out a ring. She was very surprised but happy all at the same time and said yes. 
When we went back home, my husband was a little tipsy. He told me he wasn't tired and that he was going to have one more beer and watch TV and that I should go to bed. Awful mistake. Um, what, I, the one more beer? <laughs> yeah. And that Watching she should TV. go to bed. <laughs> all, all those commercials. <laughs> um, I went back to the living room area and I saw he was sitting there crying. I asked him <laughs> what was going on and he told me he was in love with my sister. That's so fucked up, though. Um has been for years but that he knew how wrong it was he told me that he loved me very much and he promised to be a good husband and a father to our daughter he slept on the couch he's still sleeping now i'm in shock and full anxiety i don't know what to do or how i should feel about this should i tell my sister nothing can be the same again but she's my only family and my best friend and my husband is it over have i been so blind now i see everything of course he's in love with her how can i be shocked now can i save this marriage and what about my baby what can i do okay let me map it out for you (laughs) she does have two updates but what would you tell her to do right now just like this we've got the husband Mm-hmm. We've got the original poster. Yes. We've got the sister of the original poster. And her boyfriend. And her boyfriend. And now, technically now fiance. Sure. But her boyfriend. Um, <laughs> I'm explaining it. Okay. So the husband is mad at the boyfriend because he, the boyfriend is dating the sister whom the husband likes. Yes. He's in love with. And, and the original <laughs> poster wants to know what to do i think they should swap <laughs> okay i here's think what so. you do here's he what you should do. date the sister here's the sister you should date the the other guy's husband get the fuck out of there mm-hmm. raise that baby mm-hmm. by yourself because mm-hmm. you are an independent woman and you don't, don't need no man. man yeah um <laughs> and also child support is great <laughs> Oh. And he'd automatically be on the birth certificate because if you are married and have a baby, they, he would automatically be assumed as the father. Maybe like, here's something that you might be able to do. And this is all, this is like, you've got shit on one side and shit on the other side and you're just trying to go down the middle. Because mm-hmm. if you deviate at all from this, mm-hmm. you're fucked, right? Okay. You could continue with this marriage but open but open but the sister potentially but no no no, no. but the sister's not available the sister's engaged but that would well, allow you would her have to be in, in on it as well we don't mm-hmm. no not necessarily we don't give a fuck about the guy cause fuck him um we care about original poster we do care about original poster that's right um so in theory if this guy's willing to be there and be a good role model and be a dad and whatever, you could go off and have some fun. <laughs> Just think about it. Free babysitting. Free babysitting. So they're going to stay married and raise a kid, but they're not going to be together, and he's going to have of. an affair with her sister. Well, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Whatever he does so, is up to him. So th- this is... this is I, I think... The Again, original, it's a very okay. complicated thing, but it could very slim margin it could work i think <laughs> okay so i think the reason why i saved this is because i do have a story of my own well you keep hitting this story. microphone i'm gonna kill you do you not like that no i don't because i'm gonna edit it stop <laughs> <laughs> okay so i have a little bit of like a personal story right so i dated this dude <laughs> We'll call we'll call him Todd. I was right? gonna say Jaron. <laughs> we'll call it we'll call him Todd. And he had a best friend named let's say Jared. We have a best friend named Jared. So I dated Todd and my sister was hooking up with Jared. Right? Fucking Jared, I hate that guy. <laughs> so um I broke up with Todd. Why are you not gonna say because I really didn't care for him, right? Not a big Todd guy. I'm not a real big Todd guy. I wasn't feeling him. So Todd and Jared, they were best friends, like I yep. mentioned before. Mm-hmm. They got together and I guess they discussed and their whole entire plot was since Jared slept with my sister and mm-hmm. Todd was with me. I never slept with him, by the way. I have to reiterate that. Um, they you decided- have to reiterate that. You didn't say that. <laughs> I had to reiterate. Okay, I had to mention that I never slept with Todd. Okay. Um, they want. 
they wanted no, to no fuck Todd. no no fuck Todd no, no fuck Todd they wanted unfuck you Todd <laughs> he was never fucked to be unfucked <laughs> they wanted they wanted to switch uh, <laughs> they wanted they s- they decided that they wanted to switch so Todd pursued my sister mm-hmm. and Jared ghosted my sister yep. and tried to get with me yep and it was the most awkward thing how did that I've work ever- out for them um, did their plan work. It did not work. We kind of knew what wow, was happening. Wow, shocking. Um, yeah, it seems kind of obvious. It was very obvious because um, I think like at the t- at the time I had red hair, right? Mm-hmm. And I had to, have to specify I had red hair because yep. I was I was hanging out with Jared in the friend group, and I like mentioned something with my sister. And my sister had blonde hair, and he's like, Thank you. like you know, I don't really have a thing for blondes. I kind of like redheads, and I was like, interesting. <sighs> I dyed my hair black, like literally the next day. I was like, "Well, now I got to think no. for black hair people." Oh, like, I'm a brunette kind of guy. No, like, no. Was it like a vibrant red? It was a vibrant red. Okay. Yes, that's so it wasn't I, a natural. It was no. like no. It was it was so like then that's fire not engine a, it was red. Like the, that's not even a podcast thing because a redhead would be like a yeah. Like it was like this color, like of the. If you're watching YouTube, it's the color of my cable. My um, eyes are so unfocused right now. I can't even see what's going on. So at the time, I, I had like teal, and I had purple hair, and I had blue hair, and I had green hair, and I had like Ugh. a whole bunch of different colors. Disgusting. 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 I had pink hair. No, 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 color cops. <laughs> Don't recognize me. I've had purple hair, red hair. You did. Black hair bleached out hair Didn't yes. look, it looked almost like uh it was the, the bleached <laughs> out where it's like uh not totally blonde so it's still got that like reddish uh sort of like oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Look like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. but not it, it was bad that one didn't look good um yeah i've committed that if we get a certain number of i haven't figured out what number i want it to be and if i want it to be subscribers on youtube or patreon subscribers mm-hmm. um but if we hit that number, I will dye my hair pink. Ooh, okay. That would look good on you. It wouldn't. I have something. No, I think it would look good. What? Did you ever get your DNA test results? Oh, I did. I forgot. <laughs> no, we're going to bring this up. Yeah, we didn't do it. <laughs> That's really right. We'd never bring it up. <laughs> Why not? I Why? thought it'd be are, funny. Are you, are you jealous that you didn't get your DNA results? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous I didn't spend $150. Well, I I don't know how much. I think it was like 100 It's a 100 for the base one and it's, 200 Yeah, for it's kind of stupid because it... Like um in-depth one. Yeah, they just show you the basic and then they everything else is like, give us some more money and we'll show you this. <laughs> And it's all the stuff you'd want to see. But yeah, I'm like, of no, course. but I, I'm fully committed to not giving them <laughs> any more money. Where is this? Should be an app. Oh, there it is. There it is. Do you I have it on your phone? I have it on my phone. I just I'm know ready. That I'm, I'm ready Irish. to compare our DNAs to. <laughs> Oh, it's got the two dots. All right, let's some see. Fights. Let's see how white both of us are. Here, what are you guys are both oh, related? I, think I have taken. I think I'm pretty. So, what would ancestry report? Or do I oh, click? so you do have ancestry? Let's see if we are related. It would pop up. We're if not. We were. You didn't pop up. Shit. It has Sorry, relatives we're not on related. here. <laughs> we're not related. We're, we're all related, but we're all no. Like I'm related to. Cousins. Well, it's funny because. Uh, um, so there's some other person that nobody knows that they say is, um, like we share 2.81% DNA. Sh- it says oh. a second cousin once removed. Oh, okay. It's a, uh, her name's Carrie. Oh. And the only hey, one Carrie. on here that we what know is, uh, oh. Raymond, Raymond Vigu. Yeah. De- my first cousin once removed. Definitely no last names that I know. I believe these names. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Jordan. Now that we're not related, we we're can't, related. we can't, we can't date now. Oh, can't force right. <laughs> you. Can't keep the bloodline. You think I would only... ever date outside the family? <laughs> yeah, we can only date if we were in the it's family. Nasty. You're one of the McPoyle clan. <laughs> yeah. So what's yours? Mine looks like this. <laughs> I can't see that at all. No, I know you can't. Wow, you're really mostly Amer- Oh, Okay. All right. Top, I see a top lot of one. Blue Europe. Top top one. What are you mostly? Um, I am mostly French and German. Fuck you. Ireland says fuck you. I am. Um, Same. I'm mostly French and, and German as well. I had to fight both of you. And so that's 48.8 percent. It says. Oh, mine's 43 oh, percent of well. dramatic era. He's way better and than you. Mine <laughs> He's says, more German than me. And mine says 46.8 mm-hmm. percent mm-hmm. British and Irish. 
Oh, I'm 36% English. I'm I'm 36% English in Northwestern Europe. Northwestern Europe. (laughs) I'm 7% Swedish and Denmark. I'm 5% Scottish. I'm 4% Russian. I'm 3% Irish and 2% Wales. So there's a small part of you that's really against Ukraine right now. So. Yeah, and there's also a huge percent of me that's German, so I'm yeah. already very much a part of uh, I can, you know, villains. So what are your? You uh, those are your Jews. two. Your two main. <laughs> oh my God, no. Those are your two main big ones there. So my two main big ones is Germ is German, which is forty three percent, and then English, which is thirty six percent. Do you get all the other small little ones? Because I got more than just those. <laughs> Yeah, they they kind of um like combined mine together to be like that because yours is also oh. ancestry. Yeah, but oh. then mine has a two percent broadly northwestern European, one point seven percent southern European, one point six percent Spanish and Portuguese, point one percent broadly southern Europe, broadly point five percent indigenous <laughs> American. Um. And then unassigned. Oh, indigenous point American, two. huh? Point five percent. I mean, that's still there, though, right? One of I your got... ancestors sexually yeah, like... assaulted a native person. Uh, no, More actually, than my gr- no. no. <laughs> you guys <laughs> are going no, no. That's so it was hard. like my no. It was like it's my fine. I don't blame you for that. It was like my grandmother's great great grandmother was Native American, and was not raped. By the way, James, you that, sick fuck. That you <laughs> know. Fuck. No, they were married. That does not mean that that was consensual. So you're saying two yes. people of different races cannot yes. be together without it being... No, I'm not that saying that. That sounds like I'm what you're trying to say. I think you're trying to... when you're... No, she's... The track record for... It's not, dude. It's too recent. 300 years ago. No, one of my family members was married to this Native American woman. Like, full-on married. That does not mean it's consensual. You can get married without it being just consensual. Just that you're assuming 1800s. it's... Okay, you're starting to piss me off. You need to shut up. Okay. <laughs> Remember when you were like, I'm afraid Jordan's mad at me. And I was like, don't worry, Jordan will tell <laughs> you. Yeah. Jordan will tell you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I What's have... Sorry, I have... Jordan, your ancestor was not sexually assaulted. <laughs> no. There you no, go. she was not. I don't know much about my dad's side of the family, which is why I took this. But oh, I do yeah? know that. Oh, Okay. I'm sure it was a very happy marriage. Yeah. I'm sure it was. I'm, yeah. What the hell does all this shit mean? What's, I clicked on blood and biomarkers. It's probably, oh, it's like, an ad, they're oh, they're trying to, yeah, cancer. they're just, no, they're trying to get me to buy more stuff. That's right. They are, probably. Oh, well, it also, I don't know why it didn't pop up, but it says there's, like, uh, oh, wait, let me, let me try and find it. Where's the Neanderthal one? Neanderthal. <laughs> what? How much Neanderthal you are? Super salty. Neanderthals yeah. were way more hot than Homo sapiens back I in the day. I totally agree with what that other are person said, me? and it must oh, have been. Well, I think what, that James was. Or... I think that. So I no, like. I think that was. Okay, I think those... that was accurate that Neanderthals would look at. Like, I mean, they they died out though. But I think I agree with what the other person said that they were better like hunters. Than... They were more jacked. Yeah, like yeah, they look. They they were better providers. Just like how you. Hotter. Just like how you get older if someone has. An 800 credit score that's very hot yeah i can imagine <laughs> i wonder what that's like i do not have i do not have that one but can you only know, dream. like one can only dream an 800 credit score stable income oh so yeah. fucking hot one of these is mosquito bite frequency how is how i'm they, very i'm very prone to mosquito Jordan, bites based on your genetics and other factors you're likely to get about the same number of mosquito bites as others <laughs> Okay, so you're more what? likely not to get bit because some there's some people's like blood that like they will get oh, bit. Oh, they get more. a scent for it, and they're like, yeah, Ooh, yeah. this is tasty. These are so weird. You're the filet mignon of ability to match musical pitch. What Jordan, you on based that? on your genetics and other factors, you are less likely to be able to match. <laughs> He's tone <laughs> deaf. <laughs> He's tone deaf. We got it. Okay. The only musician in the group. The only person who's repeat anything like after me. Do re mi. <laughs> so, is this, so is this ancestry or is this twenty three me? This is twenty three me. Okay. Ancestry report. Oh, okay, there we go. I have ancestry.com. Um, 
Oh, that's what I should have gotten, Which is why we can't determine if we're actually related to each other, because I don't have 23 in me. Well, we, we know where we're from <laughs> well. here, so... <laughs> I did, I did have I did have 23 in me. It expired though before I was able to use it. What does that mean? Apparently the DNA testing the little solution that you like I don't know. Oh, you bought the testing. Yeah, 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 yeah. expired. I oh no, my like DNA the, the, just expired. I thought you meant like the <laughs> service expired. I was like, I don't think that's how that works. So that's why mine's a little mine just says Germanic Europe. So I'm like 43% of Germanic Europe. Germanic Europe. Which can be Germany, Netherlands, Austria, Belgium, Czech Republic, France, Hungary, Luxembourg, and Switzerland. I'm 43%. It's just this whole entire like area. So we can't confirm that you yeah. two aren't related. <laughs> I'm pretty no, sure we we're have not different related. <laughs> no, my family has never been up like up here. My family is from the down south. Oh, right. And uh, Rhode Island. My I have ancestry. My ancestor was the first governor of Rhode Island. Jordan? Uh, what? What was what? What have you got? What have I got of what? She we came from the first, Canada. What did you say? First governor of Rhode Island. What have you got? Uh, the guy who helped invent the steamboat. Really? He He wins. He does win. No, he the didn't. The steamboat is way no, more No, no. Some other guy made the steamboat. He, but he came up with like the idea, and then <laughs> he was he, there. The there, guy yeah. kind of like tweaked what he did and made it better, and then he t- killed himself with heroin. Oh, I that's guess. way more cool than whatever your guy did. Uh, one of my ancestors was the wife to John C. Beckenridge, which was the vice president. That was not that. That's cool not that cool. It's not that cool. That's way less cool than helped invent the steamboat. Uh, can I be honest with everybody? I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll wrap this up in a bit. I was just taking a quiz to see if I was going to get cancer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How's that coming? Yeah, how's that uh, quiz I, I, going? I canceled out of it. Ow. Oh, no. Because I wanted to try to find this guy. Are you uh, going to get cancer or not? Um, Probably. Do you think the canceling out We all cancer? actually will get cancer eventually if we never I died. Think so. Nah. Yeah. If yeah. you never died yet, you would eventually if I'm not, get cancer. I'm a shark. Uh, both my family members came over on the Mayflower. I'll be like Morbius. <laughs> So I'll inject shark DNA. <laughs> shark, shark DNA. Stop myself from getting cancer. <laughs> Smoke so many cigarettes. So I think I mentioned in a previous co- podcast, since both of my family, like on my mom's side, dad's family, both came over as like the earlier settlers. Yeah, you killed some um, native people. Not only did they scalp a whole bunch of people, so almost there was a generation of my family that like. <clears throat> my ancestors survived but everyone else in the family got died because the native americans killed them which the native americans rightfully got, should have killed everyone said got died got died they all died tie die <laughs> um but yeah so like both of my mom's and my dad's side of the family were early um pennsylvania settlers which means there was a cross at one point so i'm technically inbred technically mm-hmm. From the 1600s. There's no technically. There's <laughs> either wait, wait, you are or you aren't. When 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 did they settle? Uh, uh, 1700s. Yeah, in the set in the early 1700s. I bet I'm so inbred. <laughs> yeah. I bet. Yeah. I mean, Maine is your family. Have your family been there's... here in Maine for a long time? I uh, know. Uh, my well, define long. Um, I'm pretty sure 1800s. my ans- I'm pretty think. sure my ancestors were on the other side of the Civil War. Oh, so were mine. The mine were mine. My were in the South. Yeah. Racism. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if this <laughs> no. is the, uh, no. Yeah. no. I don't no. know if this guy's somehow related to me. It's a different name, but I think right. this is the guy my sister is showing me. John Finch. Yeah. What did he do? It's, it's an inventor. Yeah, and then well, oh, is this that the guy? related to the guy from To Kill a Mockingbird? A life of continual failure, that. frustration, litigation. War like, fitched down. He began drinking heavily once he returned to Bardstown in 1797. Fitch died of an overdose of opium pills. Oh, and what may have been suicide? Heroin? Was opium heroin? Yes. Oh, it's opium heroin. It is okay. Or if this is a guy or not. Okay. I think there's like a distillation <laughs> thing. It's like kerosene versus uh, rocket That's propellant. True. But no, I, I'm pretty sure my family just uh, came came down from Canada pretty recently. So I don't think we were sculping. Oh man, my family. Raping. <laughs> my family has you been here been for. My family has been here Canada. forever. Maybe. I, I'm a where? true blood American. No, I'm just kidding. 
They came in on the Mayflower? Yes. You're a big Tar- Disgusting. Tar- 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 Carlson fan? Yeah, no. <laughs> but, like, yeah, they were probably, they were, they were all the religious people. They were all the people we hate. They were probably, I think they were the Puritans. Can I say something? I think my family also been Puritans. <laughs> I want to say something a little controversial here. Oh, shit. Okay. People Drunk can believe games. whatever the fuck they want. Uh-huh. You want to believe in ghosts? That's great. You want to believe in psychics? That's great. I don't think people who claim to be psychics should be allowed to charge money for their services. And that's a podcast we're not joking. <laughs> because there's no, there's, I think we can all agree there's absolutely no scientific proof for it. Of being psychic? Right. It's a, sh- it's a, it's, a, it's a, something you do for fun, dude. It's, well, I don't think you should be able to charge for okay. it. Okay. It's okay. entertainment. But you should have to You should be able as... to charge people for this crap. You should. <laughs> They're more talented than us, dude. I don't think they are, first of all. There's a whole, there's this guy who came out and he he straight up said, here's how you do psychic readings. It's not that hard. It's body body language and like everything like that, right? Yeah, it's not a verbal language. But I don't think, I think it's all, I think it should be billed as entertainment and not as like a, I'm going to communicate with your dead relative. I don't think it should be able, I don't think you should be allowed to do that. I think it's taking advantage of people. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. Yeah, this is so random. <laughs> but I was just thinking about it a lot. I don't no. think that you should be allowed to do that. Well, most of it's just more of like they just tell you stuff about you. I think like yeah, stuff a, they wouldn't a, be yeah, able like to some know. Of them is really vague. So it's really oh, entertaining. God, James, are you okay? <laughs> I'm doing that thing where my body is broken. God, okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, that's like the people who. I mean, people can believe what they want to believe. I had a friend whose boyfriend, I mean, she wasn't really my friend, but like her, her boyfriend died and she didn't believe in the like, like psychics or whatever, but she chose to go to a psychic because she needed that comfort. I think that if you get, com- it's the same thing with religion and all of that. Yeah. If you get comfort from it, that's great. And you but should you, you absolutely think that they be allowed to charge you. you. I don't think you should charge money Then nobody it. would do it. Yeah. Then, then there'd be no psychics. Yeah. Why? There'd be like no fortune tellers and the people yeah, who really. believe why? in astrology. What are they going like to do? All why? the signs. Maybe why? If you truly Scorpios believe it, are the why worst. wouldn't you do it for free? People go to church for free. People pay to go to church. Yeah, they also yeah they also pay for church at the time. Why why wouldn't you pay to be a psychic? If it's something why wouldn't you, you pay to be a psychic, if you truly believe in it, <laughs> you just went against your argument. Yeah, yeah, because people pay to go to church, so people pay to go see, go see a psychic. It's completely different. I don't different think you should have that. to pay to go to church either. You but don't people have to pay don't to go, know. Yeah, it's you have to pay to go see a psychic. Yeah, they're totally unrelated. They're not in my eyes. They are. They're not. They're not. They're related. selling you something. No, they're not. They are. Those people actually believe this stuff. It's fine. And there's a lot of history and stuff behind it. Listen. And traditions. A psychic is something you go to for fun. No. If you go people there don't. being serious about people it. People do that. It's entertainment. It's not. I it's entertainment. They aren't billing it as no. entertainment, though. Yeah. I you go see a magic show. You go see a magic show because it's entertaining. Yeah. You go to a psychic. It's the same thing. If you truly believe that... It, that's great if you do that. Um, I, I think we should just go to a psychic. <gasps> let's do it. Let's, I can't let's get go that, to a psychic. So I can get that psychic down, to do anything. Let's go no. down to Salem, where there's We're a gonna, psychic on every single corner. I no. can get and that psychic to and say we'll anything to, about me. And we'll go to three different psychics okay. with the same question. They're probably all connected. Give me, give me <laughs> so, a backstory. We'll see. Give me a backstory. I can get that psychic to say that. That's my backstory. Easily. Too bad we never will actually do this, but we should. We I we wouldn't want to come up. I would pay for the entire thing if you weren't going to be an asshole. I won't. I will yeah, yeah, yeah. legitimately. I will go in. Like and if I I'm in get there that and you like, to tell me something that is absolutely untrue, you're not supposed to tell them anything. No, 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 no. Yeah, and it's supposed to be. I won't like, tell them uh, stuff. I will get them to tell me stuff. So it would be a standard question. Like, would it doesn't make any sense? Like, would James ever get a girlfriend? And then you ask no. that question to three different psychics. <laughs> Single digit answer. answer. No. no, normally you just go in and they just and start they, like and they can, telling yeah. you stuff and about they, you. And but they, they pick they up on stuff. And then they feel like they they'll start they going. Uh, I'm getting three letters and, and you go oh i don't think you uh, know like what a psychic i do is. because i watched the penn and teller episode where i talked okay about it. so i th- yeah because there's a difference between a psychic and a medium so yeah. medium is the one that talks to dead relatives I and this. a psychic is the one that can see in the future yes so 
Yeah, because I was uh, so or like. Or else would just tell you stuff about your past. But both yeah. can they, both can, will do the same shit know. where they're like, I'm seeing uh, J I, uh, 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 G G, or you'll or they'll sell G, and you go, Well, I have a my dad's name is John, and they go, Well, I must have been getting the the G sound. Like they just they make shit again. If you believe in it, it's fine. Um, I've always wanted to go to a psychic. I just never don't no think you should charge people for that because I feel like it's taking advantage of people who are who have lost a relative or mm-hmm. who are in this crisis. I just don't think you should be able to charge money for it. I think it's taking advantage of people who are in a desperate situation to get closure. Mm. I think if you want to do that, if you want to give people that closure, you should be allowed to do that. And if people believe in it, they should be allowed to practice it. I don't think you should charge money. For Devil's it. advocate. So the girl that I know that saw like a medium or something for for Ow. her for her boyfriend who died and paid for it, I feel like it is just as similar as if she paid for a therapist. If you want to donate to it, that's fine. Um, but therapy has like science behind it. Um, and I agree. But, I listen. <laughs> you can get closure from this. But I think there's there's some science behind psychics too because they the the whole point of them is reading nonverbal language and body language. But they aren't presenting themselves as that. I feel mm. because I feel if they did, they wouldn't false, be psychics. False advertisement. It, yes, my problem isn't that they're giving people closure and that they're doing this. My problem is how they're presenting themselves. Okay, because you can't see into the future. Mm-hmm. You can't. Mm-hmm. Scientifically speaking, there's no evidence to support that these people can do this. If you say. I will tell you some things that I'm picking up from your body language and mm-hmm. how I, you know, based on all the people I've seen, this is how I think you'll probably react. Mm-hmm. Fine. But if you say, I, 100% Jordan, you're going to go outside, you're going to find a $100 bill in the street. Hell yeah. No, like, that's not how that works. That's not how psychics are. I, I don't think I'm, you, like, uh... I'm giving a general example. I'm okay, about to shoot my pants. Okay, we need to wrap this up. We're going to we're gonna go to Salem, and we're going to have well, James no, just walk in and go to a psychic No, I think we should find, like, an psychic actual reading. psychic. Like, but that I is... guarantee I can But that's can where get... all the witches are in Salem. That's By psychic, psychic that's number two. three, that's I will get realistic. Oh, that's true. You feel like they went to I will get that psychic to tell me I have a maple syrup fortune. Like... No, I want you to go in and then, like what Jordan all, said, you do not be an ass about it. You try to. I'm not be, going to be like, but I will. I will steer them in a direction. How with your body language? Yes, you're gonna go like this. How you react? This. So how you react to what they're saying? So Houdini did that. Yeah, because Houdini Cause didn't he believe, hated, he hated believe in shit. psychic and mediums, and so he told his wife, like before he died. Um, like, because when they were trying to like debunk psychics and mediums, he said, "Hey, when I die, this is going to be my code word to you." Okay, so if and if I die and you go yeah, to him, like if, you, if you go if you do a seance <clears throat> and stuff like that, and they say stuff like, "Oh, he says he loves you and misses you," that's not me, and right. this is all bullshit. That's like what he said, and then his wife went to a whole bunch of seances after he died, and there was never once the like a, a medium knew the like code word that they had. Because there's no, there's absolutely no scientific evidence to support it. And it's fine if you do this. And it's fine if you advertise it as like... You just don't like that people pay for it. A theater. It's not that so much that I don't like that people pay for it. Because I go pay and see a Marvel movie and I know that's not real. (laughs) But I know that's not real. Yeah. It's advertising to me as a fake thing. I I think so. the The people who pay for it, either they want the experience or... It's 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 just something that they want to believe. If in. you want to support somebody and you want to like donate to them, that's fine. I don't think that they should be disallowed from uh, receiving money. Mm-hmm. I don't think that they should charge for it. Well, if because the the church doesn't charge you to the be church there. and psychics have nothing to do with each <laughs> other. Do, dude. They, they do. Don't. They, they don't. They don't. Not even if it's in your mind. They because are not in the my same head, thing. They just it's aren't. all fake. They're not. They're well, not then, at all the same thing. They, they are. Then you One don't, of them's like. Then you don't entertainment. Go see a yeah, I don't. <laughs> but it's not entertainment to the people who truly believe. That's what the I'm psych- saying. So what? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> so then, what? Then, then they have the your right argument to pay for is it. that it's entertainment. But to the people who truly believe, it's not entertainment. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It shouldn't be billed 
as real as that, like that's the whole they're, part they're of seeing it. this. No, it's not. Would it you would be. you want to have somebody go out and show you a magic trick and be like, <laughs> guys, it's all fake. Here's how I do this. But no, I know you want to watch it. No, Everybody it's, it's knows not, it's fake. Yeah, it's not about that. It's about watching it and hearing stuff. Like if someone just if I came up to you and just started <laughs> saying, no, you've never met me before, and I just started telling you all this stuff that no one should know about. <laughs> and I just happen to know it. You wouldn't be like, oh my god, that's crazy. There's a random thought that I have. You know, it's entertainment. Really going somewhere. But your argument is that's not the way it is. What I'm saying is it shouldn't be the way it is. Yeah, this has gone on way too long. <laughs> I have I'm no problem is... with people paying to go see a yeah, fucking I mean, psychic like you would anything else. It's not, would, it has nothing to do I with church. I would go see a psychic. Yeah, I just don't think you it should charge fun. money for it. Because unless you bill it as something else, it's their profession though. Normally, but it's, it's not people going there asking about their dead loved ones. It's usually people go in and then the cycle just be like, "Oh, you grew up here and here and there, or whatever." And, and then, this is what we see in your future. You yeah. see, we see great success in your future. Yeah. That so what is disingenuous? Uh, it's what people want to believe in, but they shouldn't be. <laughs> It's People can believe whatever they want, and I'm a firm believer of that. I don't care. Well, then, like... But I feel like You sound like you do care. <laughs> does, I just feel like it's taking like advantage like of people do. who might not believe, but are so desperate that they'll do anything for closure, and these people are taking advantage of them by charging them money for this service that... At any other time in their lives, all right, they wouldn't give a fuck about. All right, next podcast, <laughs> we're, you know we're going to call a psychic. Yes, <laughs> we're not going to yes. do that. Um, we're going to call a, yeah. you, because well, then you listen. can. It's like L you yeah. can listen. It, so we're not going to tie psychics with religion. I want to tie since you said that people like really want to believe for like X, Y, and Z, like for dead loved ones, like they want closure and stuff like that. Then it's like therapists help people with closure why are we giving them money like here's the thing. Also, therapists a therapist want to help also people not an act, they should yeah, do I but know, therapists but, like, come out and close. say this is how we're gonna do it this is why what we're doing works if you ask a so psychic what if how the it works psychic they'll actually, tell you it's magic no what if the psychic so. actually believes what yeah. they're doing yeah like what if they actually if believe that, that they they're, they're magic well, that they're not magic. That no, they're you know making, what I mean. That, yeah. that, like, yeah, you know. If they truly believe that, they wouldn't be doing it for money. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. Like, I was a counselor, and I truly believed I can help people, and I still got paid for That's it. That's different. If you guys I don't say I can't compare, different. if you guys say I can't fucking compare <laughs> psychics to religion, you can't compare therapy to <laughs> psychics because they are completely different. Well, no, I mean, it's all, it's, it would, for somebody who would be religious, it would be offensive for you to say that, to put psychics and stuff like that. And for in somebody the same who believes thing. in therapy, it's so, offensive for you to compare psychics to therapy. I don't believe in therapy. To therapy. Uh, I don't believe in therapy. Therapy is a pseudoscience. <laughs> I think so. I'm as not so, as someone my who feelings. used to be a counselor. Um, uh, yeah, it, no, it really is actually like. It a, is actually kind of, a pseudoscience. How do I explain what is in my head? <laughs> I don't know. So I know what yeah. makes sense, listen, but you guys don't. Listen, you, I'm not. I'm not. It's not that you guys aren't understanding. It's that I'm not explaining it correctly. I, thi no, I, think, I think. I think so. you're explaining enough. Just Jordan it's, it's and I, I don't agree it. with I don't you. Agree with you is what's happening think, right now. I think and you don't know what how am I saying? saying. I think you want to explain it to a point where we agree with you. What am I and saying? It's not happening. What am I saying? Say it again. What am I saying? Right okay. now, you're saying what am I saying? So you're saying that people can believe whatever they want to believe, and if they need closure and shit like that, that's all cool. Cool. And if the psychics really freaking believe in it, and yes. they really want their clients to have closure, they shouldn't. They shouldn't charge people. And I that is and, part I, of it. and I feel like it doesn't matter if they charge people. Like it's same. <laughs> Here's the the back end of it. And if churches and psychics had anything to do with one another, there would probably be psychics in the church. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, and I'm gonna explain that after I'm done explaining the. Oh, you think God. priests don't get money don't from the church? Don't you have to shit your pants? I'm about to. Yeah. <laughs> This is more important. This is more important than shitting your pants. I also have errands I need to run too. So, the, like, so let's get to the point. Shit your pants and on the. On the I feel like there are people out there who, like my dad said, when his mom was dying, my dad does not believe in God mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. He said that when 
she was dying, he tried. Yeah. Because he was desperate. Like, yeah. he didn't want his mom to die. I feel like there are people out there who otherwise would not believe in this stuff. Mm -hmm. Who would not give these people money, such as myself. Mm -hmm. But because they're in this situation, they feel like they just need closure for this. And they've tried everything else. Mm -hmm. I feel like these people who are charging, one, they, I feel like they charge too much money um, a lot of the time, as lots of places do. I feel like they're taking advantage of that desperation. But psychics have, li have lives, too. I mean, they need to pay rent and everything like that. If but that's they can what get they another job. At. Everyone can always get but another you can job. Open up, you can open up that argument for a lot of things. Like, Correct, and like, I am. Like content creators and influencers. Correct. Yeah, you know, whatever. They're good at their job, but they should get a real job. It's not that they should. Also. And they have to determine what's a real job. Yeah. Also, really. I feel like there's a disconnect with what I'm saying. <laughs> what you guys are saying. I'm just you're just, you're just not going to get there with that trust. Because <laughs> you can explain go to a church for free. I'm going to explain that. You don't that. pay to go to church. Gonna, exactly. Except for tithe. And, and like, I mean, that's all a volunteer. Stop though. talking about yeah, church. I'm going to explain that. <laughs> um, these people, I feel yeah. like, are charlatans. In my oh eyes. my god. Again, if you believe that's in them, a vicious great. word. I feel like these people are phony. It's an act. It's for entertainment. But they aren't billing themselves as that. They're billing themselves as legit. As this is something that is real. This is something where you can come in and I can say these things and they are 100% accurate. And they aren't. In the eyes of science. And you can't... I feel like there's a disconnect there. Where you have to say, I, I think, even if you, even if the people doing it believe, I think that this is true, but I have to let you know that science says no. It's a very slippery slope that you're going on. I and think I, that I, they should have to disclose and that. I, and I think Jordan and if I just won't agree money, with you. If you're yeah, charging there's no money. Way, there's no way ever. Yeah. I don't I think so. you should have <laughs> to disclose that to people. So, um, so, 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 if listen. you're not smart enough. Because to, people are stupid. and okay, That's right. And you have to let them is, be. But there is. But you there's can't. nothing you can do. You have to. You're, but you, there you, there's is. There's so many dumb people on this planet. You have to accept it and move on. There's, you have there's, to make like listen, bike laws so people have to wear helmets no, and stuff. Listen, you, no. People have to wear seatbelts. There's spiritual healing. There's shamans you can pay to go to see. I'm bringing up a religion. That's technically religion. But but like and I'm and I'm bringing and I'm bringing up <laughs> and I'm bringing up um, Reiki. I'm bringing up like deep breathing shamans. I'm bringing up like all of this stuff because when you have like the deep breathing where you're cutting off your oxygen, you're supposed to have this spiritual awakening and it's supposed to heal you and stuff like that. But that's if you believe it and you pay to do it. It's just like the slippery. It's, it's just it's a slippery I don't think slope. Pay for that either. <laughs> it's the slippery slope that if someone chooses mm -hmm. that they want to pay to see a psychic then that's what they choose to do but psychics not, are not going out there that, grabbing people off the street come out no 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 no, no. no, 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 no. i want to put a no, point no, on no, this no, 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 because they you are in the right headspace you had, they it are not matter. mentally no, no, yes no, it no, does no, because no, no, in no. court you can claim that somebody is not mentally right when they make a will and they cannot take the will into consideration because somebody was not mentally right when they made it. Good when God, somebody... we're talking about wills now? <laughs> yes, we're talking about death and legal <laughs> fees. Okay, <laughs> listen, these psychics are not going out on the street and picking up vulnerable people right. and just pulling them in and giving them their a lot of people fucking... Just go for like, fun. Yeah, they're giving them their little, like, fortune and then charging them. These people are choosing to do it, and I do, this is a very... I'm saying something that's say a very slippery slope. that they I'm, aren't going out and taking these people off the street. I'm saying but, something that's a very slippery slope saying this. They have signs but in the window. Service. It's a service, and people are paying for the service. End but the service is disingenuous, was what okay, I'm saying. this is going in a circle. It is. It is, I am because we're not going to agree with each other. Steadfastly against it. Jordan, Jordan and I are on one side, and you're on the other yeah. side. Anyway, like religion, <laughs> how it relates to psychics. I just want to clear this up real quick. How, oh in, my, in my head. Okay, go on. I'm going to explain it. Okay. In my head, don't believe in God. Okay. Don't believe in any of this. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine that you don't. Again, 
If you believe in it, that's great. Mm-hmm. I believe in the universe. <laughs> Go on. So in my head, church is fake. Like, it's bullshit. Uh-huh. Nothing happens from it. Uh-huh. In terms of a ultimate being but people doing get, stuff. But people get comfort but from it. But people do get comfort, uh-huh. and they go, and they, they have... Community, like a sense of community uh-huh. from it and all this stuff and they help people that's great and if church is what it takes for you to do that awesome go to church then why can't people do that because to go to church does not cost you money you go to church you can go there for free i can walk into a church probably not right now because it's pretty late you i can go to church tomorrow morning i can be in there i can be there all day not charge the penny i go to a psychic what do they do what do they do? They charge me money. So in my head, it's one fake thing is free, and one fake thing charges yeah. you money. Yeah, but listen, but listen, listen. I'm explaining myself. You know what would help me with my depression and gives me a cause of like a sense of community? A strip club, and I have to pay for that too. Yeah, <laughs> like, strip club. That is, is like, come it's on. It's not that they're like, charging money. It's that they're disingenuous with what they're offering. That is my point. I'm not, I'm I'm done trying to convince you guys. I know that you guys are on the other side. I'm just trying you to explain can't myself. Convince us. When you keep bringing it up, <laughs> I'm just explaining the church thing because Jordan was confused. No, I'm not confused. I know what you're saying, and I just disagree with you. No, How many you times said you were confused. No, you said I'm you confused, confused about the church. Why you you bring up the church, which is like because in traditions, my head, they're uh, both fake. What people believe in, and when what gives them strength, and then the, the psychic has nothing to do with the church. It's just completely different. But they're it's not, something it that somebody believes with, in that there's no evidence for. I, but you're, it's you're, like you're thinking such too, a, this is the problem is that you're thinking way too scientifically no like, i'm not like mercury's <laughs> not really. in retrograde right now and really fucking stuff up and i know people don't that's believe not how that, that works that i believe in that shit that's not okay. how that works i believe in that, that shit that is not how that works <laughs> october 3rd i'll be doing a lot better <laughs> oh. and, and everyone at work won't hate me so much <laughs> oh yeah i believe that so the horoscope I believe, shit, yeah oh, i believe yeah. in like it's fantastic We're gonna mercury is in mad. gatorade yeah. right now <laughs> Well, we should end this For before power. I get mad. And I'm about to shoot my pants, so we're gonna stop this. This is. I'm this not gonna is play a, the music. This was an play. episode. <laughs>